This diet is very scientific, sir. This is our breakfast. It's actually more than you realize. With conflicting advertisements, millions of products, and constantly changing health science, navigating the world of healthy eating and dieting can be extremely difficult. In order to help cross off some of the foods that should be avoided, here is a list of the 10 most harmful foods people keep eating. Chicken isn't vegan? Soup cans. Stop that soup! <laughs> Typically, the best type of soup to make when feeling sick is also going to be the easiest. Powdered soups are a good option, but the fastest and arguably the tastiest way to enjoy a hot bowl of soup is heated up on the stove out of the can. Unfortunately, this soup that is supposed to help people feel their best may actually be one of the worst foods someone can eat. What's the culprit ingredient in these seemingly simple soups? Salt. While these meals are typically filled with flavor, that taste typically derives from huge quantities of sodium. Although reduced sodium options are available, they too are still typically high in salt content. There is evidence the sodium content may help gain energy during times of illness, however, it should be avoided on a regular basis as it can lead to potentially serious health issues later in life. The good news is, soup is one of the absolute easiest recipes to create at home. Thousands of recipes can be found and recreated with just the click of a button and a good stock. Here's your soup. Chicken? Yes. With the little stars? White bread. One small bite is enough to fill the stomach of a grown man. There's nothing that beats a sandwich made with white bread. That soft, fluffy bread wrapped around melty cheese or peanut butter is hard to beat. Fortunately, as with the other members of this list, the negative health consequences of white bread make it a food that should be left out of the diet as often as possible. The issues with white bread is focused around the process of production. In order to increase that smooth, delicious taste of white bread, bran and germ are separated and discarded, leaving only the soft, bleached endosperm. This is then processed into the fluffy white bread that so many love. Unfortunately, what makes whole wheat bread incredibly healthy is the fiber involved within. When the bran and germ are removed, the bread almost immediately becomes stripped of important nutrients that the body needs. The white bread, although a delicious treat, converts quickly into sugars. Excuse me, but this has powdered sugar on it, and I ordered no sugar. This additional sugar is what can cause such negative health side effects from white bread. When such unhealthy food is being eaten at any meal time, and sometimes more than once a day, the body is likely to suffer. No, why would I get fat? Bread makes you fat. Bread makes you fat? Canned tuna. Coming up against a full grown 800 pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends? You lose that battle. Packed full of protein and vitamins from the most pure form, tuna salads, tuna melts, and tuna with crackers have remained perfect lunch meals for decades. Unfortunately, tuna's a long-time track record for healthy eating has been tarnished in recent years, and there is one major culprit, mercury. I've been hideous. I know that. Mercury levels in the oceans have been rising steadily because of pollution. The oceans have suffered due to industrial production, and mercury is just one of the negative effects. As mercury makes its way up the food chain, when smaller fish are eaten by bigger ones, its toxicity increases. By the time that mercury reaches the tuna for human consumption, the mercury levels are astronomically high and can have serious negative health effects for the consumer. This can be particularly damaging to expectant mothers, where the mercury travels again, being passed from mother to baby and growing increasingly toxic once again. Although in small doses the mother can handle the mercury, a delicate fetus is highly at risk. High mercury rates are linked to high rates of depression, anxiety, heart, and brain disease. Unfortunately, a once amazing healthy food now has to be carefully considered before consumed. <laughs> That's impossible. It's a mistake. Diet soda. How many calories? Zero. Zero? Zero. The tasty syrup of classic soda brands is well known to be high in sugar. Sweet, sugary liquid is a craving innate not only in human nature, but in a great deal of the animal kingdom. Although many fight hard to stay away from it, the sugar in soda is a natural process of addiction. Sweeter, bolder, better. 
As we began to become more knowledgeable regarding the effects of foods on the body over the last 100 years, the most popular and sometimes century-old brands of soda were realizing that their beverages may not be the best product for a consumer attempting to cut sugar. In the 1980s and 90s, this problem was solved with the introduction of diet soda options. While the soda is able to advertise zero calories and zero sugar by removing the sugar from the recipe, this step also removes the flavor. In order to regain that flavor, Flavor, artificial sweeteners like aspartame are added. What makes diet soda so unhealthy are these artificial sweeteners. To begin, the negative side effects associated with these sweeteners are displayed in extremely high numbers. Multiple studies have linked diet soda consumption with an increased risk of diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and more. Many people believe that they are making a healthy choice when switching from regular to diet soda, but don't let the name fool you. Diet sodas may have no sugar, but that does not mean that they are now good for you. You're right. Potato chips. Gentlemen. One of the most obvious contenders of harmful foods that people continue to eat, potato chips are one of the fattiest, saltiest, and least nutritious foods that one can consume. The high-fat food has long been considered one of the least healthy foods. The term couch potato has been created in regards to both the lack of nutrients that the potato presents the modern-day diet and also the lazy lifestyle that potato chips entail. There's just about no easier food to eat than a bag of chips. Simply open and enjoy. However, this ease of access is very dangerous when one considers the health deficits. The addictive nature of potato chips makes them such a delicious snack, but also makes it one of the most dangerous. Finishing an entire cake is tough. You wanted cake, you got cake. But finishing a bag of chips can be done in a single sitting. Serving sizes as displayed on the bag rarely are considered, and even more rarely satisfy the hunger of the consumer, as the empty calories of potato chips are unlikely to ever fill the stomach. This causes customers to continually finish bags long before expected and, more often than not, entirely solo. Although a handful of chips is great at a party, if trying to really fill themselves, avoiding a high-calorie snack as light as air that offers little in terms of nutritional reward is a good place to start. It's important to remember that even healthy potato chips are still less healthy than a whole food option. Be cautious and read the packaging. You sure you don't want to just give her some chips? No, we're not giving her chips. We're just going to eat. Non-maple syrup. You like sugar, huh? Is there sugar in syrup? While something could be said for the antioxidants and nutrients found within maple syrup, the same cannot be said for artificially flavored pancake syrup. While pancake syrup may deliver a sweet and sticky topping for many breakfast foods, such as waffles, French toast, and pancakes, it offers basically nothing in terms of nutritional value, as it is practically a bottle of sugar. Give me sugar. Getting maple syrup is an incredibly expensive and time-consuming process. For this reason, most pancake syrups on grocery store shelves contain little to no actual maple. Instead, sugars and corn syrups are used with flavorings to create a similar product. Maple syrup, although also incredibly high in sugar, does offer up some positive side effects if it is used as a sweetener, when compared to traditional white sugar. Unfortunately, many pancake syrups base their recipes off of white sugars, removing any possibility for nutrition gain. It's important to recognize the difference if one is seriously considering the health implications. An easy way to tell the difference is by price and appearance. Pure maple syrup is typically much more expensive than pancake syrups. Another trick is that pure syrup often comes in glass bottles in comparison to the plastic ones of the mass-produced pancake syrups. Either way, with an ingredient this sweet, try to stick to the purest form possible and remember to keep it as a breakfast treat, not a breakfast staple. Donkey! <gasps> Don't eat that! Mm. Margarine. This tastes like saddle soap. One of the odd things about margarine being on this list is that it is based off of a healthy eating platform. Advertisements for years have displayed that margarine is equal and similar in taste to butter, all while offering fewer health deficits. People typically use margarine while trying to follow healthy eating habits. But as research increases, it appears that margarine may be doing more harm than good. Is this a joke? <laughs> 
the reason for such a confusing reputation? Although many of these margarine brands aim to increase cardiac health, in reality, the trans fats involved are absolutely detrimental to a healthy diet. These artificial trans fats are known to immediately contribute to some of the worst types of heart disease on the planet. This has been proven through multitudes of studies comparing the benefits and costs between butter and margarine. In reality, both butter and margarine are also extremely high-calorie foods, meaning that adding either to a dish is able to reduce the overall nutritional value. Margarine is a great cooking ingredient, but olive oil and butter both offer up more pure alternatives of fat. Let me say this. Is there anything better than butter? So, perhaps if possible, just avoid adding the tasty spread to breakfast toast and opt for some peanut butter, cheese, or tomatoes instead, where the calories are worth the cost. Energy drinks. Online, right? <laughs> The power of energy drinks is mind-boggling. To be taken from such a mental and physical low to such a high level of energy with just one beverage is incredible. <laughs> it can be one of the quickest ways for an energy boost. As many may assume, the power that stems from energy drinks is derived from caffeine. Although this is a normal compound that appears in sodas and coffees, the levels in which energy drinks incorporate caffeine means that it can have upwards of five times the caffeine levels of a regular serving of soda. An energy drink every so often is unlikely to cause long-term damage, but consumed without caution and in excess, it can cause unwanted side effects. Even though it directly states on the bottle not to consume with alcohol and how they are not intended for children, it seems that young adults, particularly party drinkers, often are extremely dangerous with energy drinks. Not following the rules with energy drinks or consuming them in mass quantities can lead to serious health problems. Maybe stay away from these powerful elixirs and stick to something a little more natural for the morning boost instead, while saving these for the absolute most dire of exhaustive situations. It's corn syrup, caffeine, and water, and a cool label. That's all it is. Try it. Fruit juice. Hey, you want this? Sure, I'll drink anything. A glass of orange juice is one of the most common items on any breakfast table, and although it seems like a healthy addition, fruit juices are one of the most harmful things that can be put into the body. This may seem incredibly surprising to many people. How could fruit possibly be unhealthy? Unfortunately, the sad fact is that the process that turns fruit, a highly sugary food, into juice practically ruins any redeeming nutritional qualities. Fiber is one of fruit's best qualities, and the process of juicing fruit often involves removing the pulp entirely, save certain orange juices and more expensive juice options. What is left is extremely sugary juice that is often mixed with additional sugars and preservatives. In the end, many juices are no better than a can of soda. I was so scared, sour juice came out my front tail. The good news is that limiting juice intake and making healthy juice choices still allows for juice to remain in a nutritious diet. Cranberry, red grape, and pomegranate are a few of the juices that provide enough nutrients to offset the sugar intake. And for all those morning orange juice fans, the good news is that a small glass of OJ is definitely worth the sugar for the vitamin C return. Juice can still be a healthy treat, just avoid anything that says cocktail or does not offer up a truly nutritional trade-off. Come on, seriously. Deli meats. You've got to get out of here. Cold Cut fans beware. The lunch meat that is being used to fill lunch boxes and afternoon picnics may not be as safe as we once thought. In fact, it may be something that humans should avoid consuming altogether. What may come as a shock to many is that many processed meats, including various deli meats, are currently listed as a class 1 carcinogen. This means that it is highly associated with increased cancer risks and has been proven through many studies. It means that eating processed meat has been directly linked to an increase in cancer potential. People may argue that everything causes cancer in the 21st century, but when there is this much solid evidence, as in the case of deli meats, it may be advisable to remove it from thousands of children's and adults' daily lunches. Meat in general is a meal option that should be carefully considered before consumption as more information is learned regarding its effects on the body. But cold cuts are particularly harmful and should be avoided in general. Unfortunately for all the campers and baseball game lovers out there, this means hot dogs, too. Hey, hot dog guy, can I get six hot dogs down here, please? Right away. Go ahead and tap on one of our other great videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.